Testing. Testing, one, two, three. Good, uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is King. I'm from Malaysia. I'm also the founder of Data N, which is an affordable and customizable training package for newsrooms to create data journalism. Why data journalism? In the early days of Texas Tribune, two-thirds of their traffic came from their data projects, which means data stories are more engaging. For ProPublica, selling data sets is a new revenue generator. Uh, in Latin America, news publications like La Nación in Argentina, they are using data journalism to push for a more transparent and accountable government. In Asia, where I grew up, there are more than 1,900 newsrooms competing each day to produce more engaging and high-quality content. And in most um, newsrooms on this map, data journalism is a new opportunity for them. However, creating data journalism is not an easy task. Currently, there's a huge gap between big newsrooms and the small and medium newsrooms, as you can see here. Newsroom, for example, newsrooms like New York Times, they have a 40-member team just to produce data components. But for newsrooms like Foreign Policy, the whole newsroom has only around 40 journalists. So how to solve this problem? Most newsrooms, they will send their journalists for training. And I talked to these uh, journalists and the newsrooms, and I also talked to journalism organizations that conduct data journalism training to journalists in developing regions. And these are the problems they told me. So data end is to address the issues there. First, it is comprehensive. It covers not only just data visualization, but also data literacy, which include, which include how to find data, how to process and analyze data. It is customized based on the demands, the budgets, and the type of stories produced by the newsrooms. After the training, we provide post-training support to when the journalists they start to work on real projects. Because we understand there's a time when journalists find find a lot of questions and nobody's going to answer them. And the whole training here does not require coding skills, which lowers the barrier for many, many journalists. This is the, the training workflow. So first we listen to the, the to the newsroom before we design the training. And we pick the tools for newsrooms so they don't have to waste their time trying out different sorts of uh, data tools in the market. After the training, we provide tutorial and documentation to refresh what we have learned during the training. And we also provide data services for more complex tasks, uh, such as data scraping. So the, the focus here is really not to build a multi-million business is to build uh, a sustainable business model. Uh, the revenue mainly comes from trainings and data services, and we expect to break even in our fourth year and start to generate some revenue. We also plan to organize regional conferences and workshops, uh, not just to generate revenue, but also to build data journalism community in Asia. So far, we have done a pilot training program with foreign policy and also a full two-day training with Malaysia Kini, which is the most visited news website in Malaysia. We, next week, we are going to do an online training with NK News, uh, which is a news website specializing on North Korea news. We are also talking to MDIF uh, for a partnership. Um, it is the New York-based investment media investment funds that invest in over 100 media business in over 38 countries. And we have some pretty good outcomes. In the first two weeks after the training with Malaysia Kini, six out of the 10 journalists in the training have produced at least seven data components to go with their stories. The same goes with um, foreign policy. And these are some of the examples uh, they produced by the two newsrooms. And this is me uh, telling my first story when I was five. I was a journalist in Malaysia for eight years before getting a Fulbright scholarship to come and study in NYU. I'm also a Google Journalism Fellow. And 
I work in several US newsrooms to produce data-driven stories. To recap, Data N is a customized training package to help newsrooms with limited resources to produce data journalism. And please check out our website and subscribe to our newsletter. Uh, there are some free tutorials and tips on the website. And I'm also looking for partnerships and data journalists to build this uh, project together. So, and if your newsrooms need data journalism training, please talk to me. Thank you. Any questions? Okay. Oh, another one over there. You're making it easy. Hi. Yeah. Hey. First off, congratulations on your first two clients. Uh, but I'm, businesses like yours typically have this decision point where you know, want to either be a service business or a product business. And it sounds like you're more focused on training, but a product, building out a product would have more leverage. How are you thinking about that decision Do you, over the long term? Do you see yourself as being primarily service focused, product focused, or what's your decision, what's your thinking process around that? I know that provide, uh, product can be more profitable in the long run, and service is very hard to scale. I totally understand that. So currently I'm focusing on service. So I see this as a service to build the capacity of many newsrooms in Asia. However, in the long run, I'm still thinking about how do I create some, a product that can be used by many newsrooms and something that can, be, that can be scalable. This is something on my mind, but I haven't found that solution yet. I hope that answers your question. Yeah. And congrats again on the traction. Thank you so much.